In this lecture, we're going to study ideal gases. Now, ideal gases uh, or ideal gas is just a model of a gas. So we're going to first think of what a gas and how do particles in a gas behave like. So this is one uh, example. There's a container and you have these particles and these are gas molecules or particles which are randomly moving around. So the basic idea of what a gas uh, how do you how do you quantify or qualify something that is a gas is that it's made up of particles which are in constant random motion so they're moving freely in all different directions so this particle over here is moving in this direction this particle is over, moving in that direction this particle is going to the right this one is going to the left so they so they are constantly moving around in a in a random in a random fashion so this this over here is one way to figure out whether the particles are in the in gaseous state or whether they are in liquid or solid state the other uh, thing about gas particles is that you're going to assume that they are behaving as rigid spheres so they're perfectly uh, rigid spheres which means that if a collision occurs they're going to move around and behave as if uh, the probability of going in all directions is exactly the same the pressure that a gas exerts is due to collisions of particles with the container walls. So uh, the particles are going to collide with the walls of the container. They're going to exert some sort of force. And force per unit area is pressure. So, so that's, uh, that's another way to quantify. That's how gases exert pressure. That pressure is exerted due to collisions of particles with the wall of the container so we will underline that another thing about gases is that all collisions are uh, you're going to think of uh, the collisions as perfectly elastic so there's no loss of kinetic energy so they're perfectly elastic collisions there's no energy being lost anyway so that they have perfectly elastic collisions and the temperature of a uh, gas is going to be proportional to the to the average kinetic energy of the gas so when you measure the temperature of a gas that's proportional to the average kinetic energy of the gas so this is just a, a, a model of what a gas uh, would ideally behave like so this is a rough model of what a gas should behave like so an ideal gas is a model of a gas but it has two absolutely key assumptions number one that gas particles have negligible intermolecular forces so gas particles we already know that in when, when some substances in gaseous state the particles have very weak uh, interactive forces they don't attract each other very strongly which is why there are such large distances uh, one one particle of gas is very far from the other particles because they're not attracting each other very strongly so one very key assumption of an ideal gas uh, about this model of a gas is that gas particles have negligible intermolecular forces the other absolutely key assumption about uh, ideal gases is that uh, the volume occupied by the molecules themselves so if you if you look at this uh, diagram you have these molecules but they are very far from each other so most of the container is just empty spaces so the particles themselves are not occupying a lot of volume they're all empty spaces between the particles so if you get all the particles together the the volume of the particles uh, would be negligible but the volume of the container would be a lot greater compared to the volume of the particles because most of the container is just empty spaces so the other absolutely key assumption is that uh, the volume occupied volume occupied by gas particles is negligible compared and relatively compared to the volume occupied by the total gas or to the volume of the container so whenever there is uh, there are gas particles in a particular container most of the container is just empty spaces the gas particles themselves have 
very negligible volume but they end up occupying because they spread out in all directions and there are lots of um, large gaps between them so most of the container is just empty spaces the gas particles themselves are occupying a very very negligible volume compared to the volume occupied by the entire container